Here's top teacher Jeff Ritter with a golf drill that can dramatically help you control your driver and hit the ball more solidly. I'm Jeff Ritter, coming to you from my golf academy at the Raven Golf Club Phoenix. Here's a little tip to help you improve the quality of your learning environment as you work on your golf game. Learning is all about trying to make a positive change in your technique. And the best way to do that is to be able to increase the internal awareness of what your body's doing as you're swinging. So what I want you to do the next time you come out to the practice tee is set up a series of golf balls. What you're going to do is imagine yourself as being a car that has a series of gears. First gear, second gear, third gear, and fourth gear. In first gear, I'm imagining a full-size swing that travels at, let's say, 25 miles per hour. As I work through the gears, I go from 25 to 50, 50 to 75, and then 75 goes up to max speed, or we'll just call that 100. So as you walk into your golf shots, what I want you to do first is rehearse the new motion. So let's say I'm working on the top of my backswing. I might look at my hands, feel my left wrist, check on my club face, make sure I'm in the position I'm trying to get to. Now as I walk to the golf ball, I'm not going to swing full pace. I'm going to make a full swing, first gear, I'm going to bunt the ball down the fairway. What I'm trying to do is let go of my expectation of distance so I can go slow enough so I can feel if I'm actually doing what I want to be doing. If my contact starts to improve, if I look at my swing on video using my phone, if I see some positive changes, I'll let myself bump that speed up to second gear or 50 miles an hour. Go up to the top, rehearse the feeling, increase the pace just a little bit. The idea here is that as I start to increase my pace, the technique that I'm trying to change will essentially stay the same. 25 to 50, if the contact is consistent, I walk up, rehearse again, feel that position, and now I go up to 75, gradually building that pace. Once I get to 75, if I feel good, now I'm going to open this thing up and go back to full speed, which is full max capacity, or in this case, something that feels like it's around 100 miles per hour. Getting set up. Rehearse one more time. Now it's time to let it go. So this kind of training is actually common practice amongst touring professionals, but something that you would seldom see for amateurs on the learning tee. The next time you go out, think about those gears. Control your pace, move from slow, gradually building to fast, and I guarantee the swing changes will take place a lot faster for you.